Det er der går lidt sjovt. She, the teacher from the Ebero, she was standing in front of us, and I remember her. No, she did not look like, I don't know, let me think about it. She was slim. Okay, so they all came from La Unam, the teachers, because La Ibero is new, and La Unam is new. It's old, it's good. No, La Unam is great. I oh, can tell you more about it later. Because it has, you cannot walk the entire terrain where La Unam is all the way to the south of Mexico City. And there's so much nature in between. You literally have to take a car. If you're going to go study, for example, I don't know, biology and deep love, you're in a completely different section with uh, buildings and parking lots. And then if you're going to do something, I don't know which one is which, but you can actually, it's like a park. It's impressive. Yeah, and the main building or the library has these um, murals from one of the ma famous Mexican muralists, which is very impressive as well. Yeah, Aztec symbol. Mm -hmm. So let's go back. So the teacher, she was standing in front and I thought about her. Slim, no makeup, black hair, short, and probably freckles because I was sitting all the way in front. And she wore clocks. That's a, that's a mission statement. I don't know, informality, I don't give a shit. No, she lived, she told us. So remember, I lived here. Here's my Ibero. She lived, I don't know, past La Marquesa or in Toluca. I remember that because she had sweater on or something, a sweater. Because when you, when you travel from Mexico City to this side, you, you always have to go up and down. Well, you go up the mountain and it's La Marquesa and then you go down. But La Marquesa is a place where there is trees. So you can stop and get food. Yeah, that's Mexico, man. There's always food. <laughs> yes, thumbs up. So the farm trouts there, you can have trouts or typical, you know, Mexican quesadillas, simple things. That's what it is. So you go down and then it's Toluca, which is a cold, tiny little town. If you go down to Cuernavaca, you go up the mountain e equally, and then you can stop at Tres Marias and get their quesadillas, but there's no much trees. It's warm. So she had the sweater on, and I thought, yeah, well, because she lives, you know, in the north. And that she, it's a good commute, by the way, to go there and give her lessons and go back home, because there's no traffic. It's outside the city. So she was standing there and she was talking about Foucault, Michel Foucault. Yeah, that's one of those milestones to me. This. I have huge admiration for Karl Marx. Yeah, okay, that's cool. For Friedrich Nietzsche, amazing. No, I'm not for Erich Fromm, although, although not admiration, but I, of course, it's a must, Erich Fromm. And I have huge admiration for Michel Foucault as well. Yeah, it was all me, but oh. Uh, me was a lot of things and that's what I actually uh, cherish so she was telling us something about Foucault which is insightful amazingly important for our society and then she paused and she looked at the class with Las Fresas remember Las Fresas <laughs> and then she said but you don't get it I love my ass off inside. No, she wasn't talking to me. All the insight given here, you don't understand it because you're just gonna vomit the information back out and examine whatever that is and miss out on life itself, on the structure of the society in which you live, where you are responsible international relationships to figure out solutions. You are the person, the people that, forget about the generation assholes then. You are the ones of the inside to understand how a society can improve because we had political science, how government were created, how people ever lived together. We had philosophy, we had insight for lots of brainiac things. We had mass, no, but economy. 
and we had law yeah even international law so we had like a global overview in a way so how on good lord's earth are your puppy your daddy because that's what part of the stress of puppy my puppy bought me yeah, my daddy bought me my puppy how you sit here in there <laughs> to study and consider yourself international relationship received licenciado or licenciada with no clue whatsoever and that's the kind of thing you get at long num the in inside and you don't get it at la ibero unless you're a person who looks me medium had medium the studied one she had it that's why we have friends although we never ever <laughs> barely talk we have a busy studying la unam is but brought it all up humanistically but they are the humanistically undermined so they're pound on i'm the undermined they call themselves la chava yeah i remember one of those she diminished me because i was blonde because she thought she was special being alone num study once so how dare you sit there and receive yourself to live and do anything at all you're such a waste of our life and society in a way that's what it meant but you don't get it she said she paused and looked and then she continued and i remember forever that moment in history because i love what she said about foucault and if you like i tell you what it was